Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Alien to Alien to the Legend Shooter. Alien the Legend Shooter 2? Obviously they want this title to read Alien Shooter 2 the Legend, but the formatting of that title has confused me. Anyway, here's the fun part. It's called Alien Shooter 2. Uh, I have played the original version of this. This seems to be some kind of an upgraded modern 1080 version. Maybe with new levels, maybe not. I don't know. But this is a series of mouse look shooter games that are RPG lights, you know, so it's not just Crimson Land, like it's isometric and they're kind of huge areas uh, that you walk around in, you find secrets, you upgrade your character. It's, it's a ton of fun. But here's how big a fan I am of these developers. And if I've told this story before, you can tell me. Um, but when I, the reason... I started buying games on Steam. The reason I installed Steam on my computer was for a Sigma Team game. That's the makers of this. So I love Sigma Team, right? The guys who made this, Alien Shooter, Zombie Shooter, and the games like that. I can't remember what the other... There was a third series they had about, like, Nightmare Demons. It was strange. I'll check into that later. But anyway... Um, I, I played there... I reviewed, I think, Alien Shooter 2, maybe Zombie Shooter 1... And I was so excited about their new game. So I kept going to their website to be like, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? And their new game was something called Alien Hallway. And I'm like, great, I'm going to buy Alien Hallway. And they're like, ah, it's only being sold on Steam. And so that day, I installed Steam on my computer for the first time just to get a copy of the new uh, Sigma Team game. That's how much I love these guys. So I found out they had a new game out or a remaster, whatever it is. And I was like, I emailed them. I'm like, hey, big fan. I've got this channel. Would you like to send me a review copy? And they were like, sure, we'd be happy to do that. And so that's the story of how I'm playing this. WASD. Oh, yeah, it's just a 1080p version of the game. Okay. The gate is open. I have an M16. What kind of damage are we going to do? Okay. Should I break open the lock for you? Uh, there's also Alien Shooter Tower Defense, which is really badass, and uh, Alien Hallway 2, which is kind of amazing and crazy, and I love it, but it gets way too hard. Magma team that were here early operated from the garage, back off the main road behind you. They told me they left a cache of dynamite there. Okay. Do I not have a sprint button? Hmm, I guess I don't have a sprint button. But don't worry, I know how to shoot. Wait, who's shooting over there? Oh, I love the way the bodies scatter when you shoot them. A uh, fun fact, the body parts never disappear, so in particularly brutal gunfights, you'll be just left with giant fields of corpse parts strewn everywhere. It is badass. I don't know if it's actually an M16. It could be like a C18 that's fully auto. Or the uh, prototype M16, which was also full auto. I don't know the classification number of the full auto v ones versus the burst fire ones, but there you go. When the my favorite comic book, Golgo 13, was created, it was a futuristic rifle that no one had seen anything like it before. And that's why he carries it. And he's carried it ever since, so now it looks like he likes weird retro things. But when the thing started, it was like, this is the most futuristic gun in the world. No one has ever seen anything like the M16. Okay, and blow it up. Don't forget to fall back to a safe distance. Done and done. And I mean done. I have not Horror King. I have never opened my phone. Are there more secrets around here? Secrets that they will take to their grave? <laughs> okay, well, I've obviously made a mistake here by wandering into a place where I, uh... can't see the enemies because of foreground elements. But I survived. So, uh, here's, you'll notice the game is doing something interesting that a lot of people do when they upscale their video games. And it's kind of a strange visual effect. What they'll do is, 
They'll upscale the game and they'll pull the camera back, but they will keep everything else the same size. So you'll notice my armor indicator at the bottom right takes up just the teensiest percentage of the screen. Of course I do. But of course, uh, that's only because they're using the exact same icon as they did in the original version of the game. So it is much relatively far smaller than it was previously. I don't know what you mean by speakers on the outside of a phone. Horror King. I feel like there should be another secret down here because of that car lot over there. There doesn't seem to be a way to walk over there. I may be overthinking this. It's a little like Project Zomboid, you know? I mean, obviously, it's long predated, uh, long predated so Project Zomboid and much more action focused. But I mean, that is also isometric action. Is Project Zomboid a finished game? Like, is it is it viable now? Because I did their um, early investor thing for 8, 50, 80 bucks or whatever back when it was first in development, and I never checked back to see if they finished it. See, look at all these boxes over there. You'd think I'd be able to get over and get at them, but maybe not. Oh, Project Zomboid is finished. I should go ask that guy for a Steam code, then. Considering how early I invested in it. How much does it cost? I, he asked. Curious. No time for pleasantries. This, take this combat drone. It will cover your back when you perform the next task. Just remember to activate it through the equipment panel. I need every soldier and cannot afford to lose them because of their own stupidity. I put you in the database of our private military corporation. You will serve under my command. To confirm your identity, lock in from the supply terminal where you can buy the equipment you need for these combat missions. Any more conversation to do? If so, how would I talk to you? Press E? F? Seriously, how do I talk to people? Yeah, that's the speaker, and you would have to open your phone to get at it. Wouldn't you? Awesome. M11 Universal. That's a lot of guns. I do not have $740,000 for a shotgun. Thanks for offering, though. Five grand. Oh, my God. Uh, reanimation kit. Worn UAV. Nice. So how do I equip this? Oh, there it is. So are these drones new to the game? Oh, you click on the speech bubble. Okay. Okay, complete mission, break 10 crates, use, don't use individual first aid. No, I want to go talk to the people first, damn it! Ah, okay. Give me land, lots of land, neath the starry skies above. Don't fence me in. F. Uh-oh. It's some crabulous, scrabulous monsters. Oh no, my dr drone is down to 99% health. Did somebody shoot at me? Use the key card for authorization. So I have to go find a key card first. That should be doable. Oh, this game is so metal. It really is an inheritor to the Doom legacy, isn't it? No, I don't have a secondary weapon. I should really work on getting one. So does this have a level up system, or, or what? Like, is there experience points, or is there just save up money to buy new uh, guns? Damage from bullets. Number of shots per second. Number of shots before reloading. Oh, good to know. Okay, there was an alien that had a gun. That didn't make me happy. But he missed me, and that did make me happy. Seriously, such a metal game.
Yes, I want all of the cash. All of the cash is mine. Yeah, a gun that costs $740,000 just seems like a weird thing to, like, lay out at the start of the game. But you didn't let me down. The other guys could reach this place. Go and turn this goddamn computer on. Dear developers, if you have to be watching this and you'd like someone to proof uh, your text since but is not a good way to start a sentence there, uh, I am, would be happy to offer my services as a uh, copy editor. I charge the very low price of uh, $1 per page of text. Obviously that... Uh, I mean, you can cram as much text as you want onto that page, but if you want it to be good, well proof e uh, edited, you really should make it uh, clear where one line starts and the next ends. So I have unlimited ammo? That is so nice. I wonder if they had unlimited ammo in the earlier games. I honestly don't think they did. Oh, that's so beautiful. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to proof text the uh, script of your game. Just, you know, the font at minimum can be uh, 10 point font. I don't you like crap trying to cram the entire script of the game into a single page to save money. Uh, that seems unfair to me. Come on, load it up, load it up. Oh, look at all those shell casings. But yeah, I'll be happy to proof your game to make sure it reads as cleanly as possible. As if it was written by a native English speaker. Oh, what's that gun? It's a second Uzi that does less damage than the first. I don't like loot-based gaming. But, you know, I do accept that it is a necessity in this day and age to keep people entertained by game worlds. Like I said, I don't get it myself, but I accept that I'm in the minority here and games are going to have loot in them. I would rather you just have guns I can buy and then give me, like, a sear- No! I didn't mean to use the health kit! Damn it! I just lost a bunch of cash! Ugh! I pressed E to try to use something because I didn't look at the screen and see that uh, E was health kit feel very dumb now. Love this Uzi. F. Ooh, a handgun. What kind of damage does it do? 45. Wait, 42 damage from bullets? Seriously? You can do two-fisted gunplay, everybody. Can you do two different kinds of guns? Yeah, voice got a little high there. Oh, man, I lost the biggest amount of cash. Oh. Now I'm morose. A good start. We must keep on restoring the base control systems. It's the only way to find out what's happened here. This base is equipped with a powerful radar station. With it, we can monitor the monster group's concentrations and search for survivors inside the base and around. It seems like the station was damaged during invasion. Get to the surface and check on the main antenna. Perhaps we'll be able to fix it. Uh, I'm going to talk to other people and go buy a handgun first, but thank you. Anyone able to control those monsters could conquer the whole world. Is that what the villain's up to? Don't know who did this duct tape fix. Personally, I fix it with flex tape. I don't know what the difference between duct tape and flex tape is. I don't live in a place where they use the term flex tape. So just like that word means nothing. That term means nothing to me. Oh, hello. What's this? Nothing? It's nothing? Oh, right. I forgot that uh, you can use the mouse to move yourself when you're in non-conversation sequences. Sorry, non-combat sequences. Learn your words, Hoguru. All right, so I can't afford a second pistol. Kind of disappointed. I would like to sell you. All right, let's get to it. Hopefully I'll find a better thing. Yes, Maddie, what is up? As the kids say. Look at all that bloodstained stuff there. This base is equipped with a... Oh, wait, we already talked about that. <laughs> Can I not start... Oh, there we go. You have a good night, turtle. Or will you? Yeah. Die. Uh-oh. We got a boss monster. Better stop screwing around with this uh, submachine gun. 
Oh my god, this boss monster is not messing around. He's got a machine gun of his own. Luckily, I've got a ton of armor, but wow. That almost sucked. A new, a new assault rifle? Tell me more. Technically better than what I'm using now? Yep. Oh, it didn't come loaded. That's something I should have been more careful about. Apparently someone named Juntron talked about flexing tape. Now, apparently I have to kill three more, seven more rats and find all of the secrets. I have yet to find a single secret in this game, so I don't like my chances there. But I've now killed seven of the ten rats I need to, so... I'm doing great there. So how do you find secrets in this game? Do you have to shoot through walls, or do you have to, like, push up against walls? Or is there, like, a button, or what? See, the graphics haven't really improved uh, from back in the day when I was playing this on, you know, a much smaller monitor on a much weaker computer. But I don't really care, because, as is always true... Uh, graphics are just a factor of budget. The better your graphics... Sorry, the bigger your budget are, the better your graphics are going to be as a general rule. So I will never hold bad graphics against a game unless, and this is the key part, they in some way adversely affect gameplay. Like, the game is like... You have to remember which of these three guys you're looking at, and the graphics so are so bad you can't differentiate between any of them. But the odds of that happening are pretty darn long. No! For some reason, I wasn't able to shoot through that bullet, that uh, chain link fence. It just seems weird to me because it's a chain link fence. So this is how we get out to where the car was. Neat. I cannot tell you what a relief it is that I don't have to worry about. Uh, Chow! Running out of ammo. That's like huge. Right, let's try it out. Dual pistols, everybody. By the way, I love uh, developers that care so little about these kinds of things. They're like, yeah, we'll use the real names of guns. What do we care? Go and su uh, sue us, the Beretta Corporation. What did I just find? I found a vault Tech. No, not a vault Tech. A Brotherhood of Steel helmet. Awesome. So that was a secret. Uh, is that all the secrets? No, because I didn't just get an award for finding all the secrets. The way I was hoping. <laughs> this feels like a good place to find a secret. This did not count as a secret. Oh, do I have to hover my mouse over cache to pick it up? Instead of walking over it? I should do an experiment into that later. Secret here? No. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be finding all of the secrets or getting those trophies pretty much ever. Should I go back to my uh, assault rifle? Yes. Am I happy about that? No. It's just so much more effective than the twin pistols. Now, if those were twin machine pistols, oh, then we'd have something. All right, so this is Warn Naga. Slower, but a I'll move slower, but I'll have a lot more durability. Oh yeah, you can immediately notice how much slower we're moving, can't you? That is more than I was expecting. Here, let me try something. Yeah, that worked great. Grenades are where it's at, kitties. They are the Robert Omb. These were your mistakes, scrab monsters. Messing with me, a guy who doesn't like scrab monsters.
wonder how I buy more health kits. Probably in the store, right? Who is hitting me exactly? I keep getting, like, hit once or twice. And the enemies aren't getting close enough to me to hit me, which makes me think there's a guy shooting at me somewhere? It was a very funny, Horror King. Funny and cruel. Oh yeah, this guy's spitting at you and I just couldn't see it because of, you know, all of the gunfire and whatnot. Alright, so I'm still looking for two more rats to execute. Another mini Uzi. What's that out there? Another crab? Probably another crab. Is this the part I need? Waka waka. Can I blow open that wall by using these? I cannot. Nice. Dear developers, maybe like the music could fade out a little more naturally. Just kind of stopping dead on me, you know? It's not fantastic. It's not a big problem, but it is something I noticed. Oh, they thought they needed anti-aircraft defenses. But really, they should have been worried about monsters burrowing up from under the gr burrowing up from under the ground. Shotgun, we got a shotgun everybody. Shotgun party. Uh, what was your question? Your virus, their protection managed by your organization in your Windows security setting. Well, that should mean that you're whoa. That Windows is handling it. Maddie? Uh, and that you don't have a specific virus checker beyond Windows Firewall. I would assume. Again, I'm not an expert on that kind of stuff. Yay, I found a second secret! Got a bunch more cash! Was that the last secret in the level? Heck no! Ooh, what's that I picked up? Is that a vest? That's like just a vest. No, I'm not going to be switching my character to wearing character to wearing just a vest. Oh, what actions does it say are needed, Maddie? If I may ask. Can I get over there and check out these other secrets? Doesn't look like it. Disappointed. No. Oh, okay. Uh, so here's some radar malfunction. See much nearby bill. Okay. I found the spare part. Oh, I need more spare parts. Okay. Now reload that shotgun. And does it have a suggested action, Matty? Do I generally trust Windows with suggested actions? Yes, I do. I'm very naive that way. I love that I've got a drone helping me out. Between that and not having limited ammo, I mean... Do I something crazy? Even the tower defense alien shooter game had limited ammo. It was weird. I really love that game, but the limited ammo thing was strange. Huh. So there's nowhere to click where it says actions are needed. That's strange. Usually when they want you to take actions, they will let you click to a menu where those actions are needed to be taken. Wait, so I found three secrets and that's still not all the secrets. What do you want from me, game? I mean, obviously it's more than I'm able to give, but specifically, what do you want from me? See, like, this is what I'm talking about with the soundtrack developers. Like, it'll be doing that rock and beat, and then it'll just abruptly stop. And then we'll have three seconds of dead space, and then the new track will start. Like, crossfade, guys! We want crossfades. So what are you waiting for? Replace the faulty parts and get back fast. Uh, also, just FYI, 
you're looking to someone to voice act everything the commander says, obviously I'd be 100% down for that. I'm a part-time voice actor. You may have heard me in hot new game Unicorn Dungeon. Not Unicorn Dungeon. What's the third one? Leprechaun Treasure. Is it called Le No. Poltergeist Treasure. Leprechaun Shadow. Haha. -ha. I should have probably been able to name the game I was in a little more quickly. But yep, I'm available for that if you need to add it to voice actor. I charge very reasonable rates. And as you can see, I'm more than capable of voicing a gruff military commander who takes no nonsense from his subordinates and is in fact a square G until later on, I don't know, maybe it's gonna turn out he's like trying to uh, use the aliens for his own purpose to conquer the world. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the guy. Why can I not pick that up? There we go. So you can't do two-fisted micro Lucy's, right? No, that's sad. I don't think I'm going to find all the secrets, everybody. Just give me land, lots of land, neath the starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Just let me ride in the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. Woohoo! Radar's working. Let's get back to base. Uh, self in the evening breeze. Oh, crap. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that the enemies would uh, regroup. But they have. Oh, hold on, everyone. I'll be right back. Okay. Ah, damn spitting zombies. When did I get healed? I have 100% health again. Did I just pick up a nail gun? I just picked up a nail gun, everybody. It's less powerful than my pistols. She's pretty quickly... Oh, wait, no. Got a ton of ammo, though. Like, that nail gun might actually be useful. I'm gonna hold on to that while I sell, like, everything else. Sad about not finding all the secrets, but that's gonna be a whole thing with me in this game. I am never going to find any secrets, and that's just how I roll. So how long till we can afford to buy a Gatling gun? Like, the whole game, right? 285 enemies killed. That's my kind of numbers. <clears throat> Things are worse than we thought. According to radar data, all of the area within it, all the area within its range is teemed with monsters. This is the kind of thing it's like I can help you with. The word you're looking for there is teeming. See? Our mission gets more difficult every hour. Looks like we'll have to come up with something better. Maybe this eccentric person can help us with the equipment. Guys say he has golden hands. Go to him and see what he can do for us. War. War never changes. The radar. The radar shows a concentration of monsters near our southern checkpoint. You are good with guns. Hope you'll help. Uh, not yet, buddy. Oh, so that's a side, side mission number one. Okay. Are you one of Baker's watchdogs too? You think you could kick this alien creature's ass? Well, I respect that approach. You can call me Oliver. I'm hiding here for a couple of weeks. Recently, attacks monsters became frequent. That's, again, you got the order of words wrong there. This is why you need a proofreader. And if it weren't for you, I would have had to find another shelter. Bring me my equi any equipment you need to repair. We'll do my best work on it. Not for free, of course. But you guys get a great discount. Put your junk onto the workbench and I'll see what I can do with it. That's the worst thing I've ever done. Okay. Uh, so what can you do with this?
Okay, how do I click repair? Nice. One second. Okay, so it's like repair games. So repair guns. But... Oh, is it just my armor you need to repair? I keep thinking I have to repair guns, but... I'm not seeing any, like, health bars on the gun, so... Do I need to repair guns? Can I right-click to sell quickly, or no? That's sad. Do I have a ma Oh, I do have a maximum weight quotient. I will be more careful in the future. And as I said, I am holding on to my... Nail gun. I'm a little sad that there does... Is that... What kind of gun is that? Energy weapons. Nice. So no Gatling gun yet... Our mower is up to $31,000, so I can start affording awesome shotguns soon. 324 damage, and what kind of this does? This does only 432. Oh, wow. It sets things on fire as well. One of its special traits is it costs $200. 200% more than it should. That's not a good trait to have. A Karmit? God, I love these crazy guns. Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, I'll just sell this bad boy, and then... Alright, so. Uh, let's see what this repair guy wants. Is it just my... Repair everything for 100. Okay, so let's see what happens with the guns. Condition? Is there a condition? No? Okay. Like, if I just repaired that gun, I didn't see any evidence of it. But, I do notice that I have repaired my armor. So that is, a, that is accurate. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So he's got a mission as well. Yeah, let's let's try this. Do you think my nail gun counts as a pistol for that kill 60 things with a pistol? It must, right? Yeah, it says right there in the corner it's a pistol. Alright, let's just buy a second nail gun. Uh, that's 142... I thought that was 14,000, not 114,000. That would have been bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, kill kill sixty with a pistol. This should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Also, I'm liking the uh, gun sounds on this. Uh... Hey, I got armor. Nice. Wow, it takes forever to reload this bad boy, doesn't it? Wow, this game is not kidding. So, um, this level is in a, a Crimson Land style arena fight. I didn't know they had those in this game. It's kind of cool. I feel like those existed as bonus areas in previous uh, games of this ilk, and in this series indeed. I guess I didn't really realize they would be in this one. That is not a complaint. I'm enjoying it so far. Yay! Another assault rifle! It's not really what I'm in the market for, but, you know. I want something awesome. Although, if it's an awesome assault rifle, I'll take back everything I said earlier. Getting 60 kills with a pistol seems like a lot. Like, we're only a quarter of the way there, and we've been on this level for, like, a while. Once I pick up two more items, we can leave this level, but I'm going to be careful about picking up items because it might automatically make us leave this level, and I don't want to, you know, screw myself over when I'm trying to get this bonus. Cash money! Okay. Why did the insane clown posse stop making movies? I really thought that was an interesting idea. Them just like, yeah, 
We're uh, the Insane Clown Posse, a ridiculous rap rock group. Uh, and we're going to dress up like cowboys and make a western. Okay, those guys have plasma throwers. I'm a little outmatched because I'm trying to find fight things covered in plasma throwers with a nail gun. I really should have figured out a way to bring a second pistol to this fight, shouldn't I? Well, that's on me. It better be a good reward for completing this mission. And I guess even if I don't get to the 60 kills, I will still have completed the uh, mission without using a health kit. So that's almost ow as good. Not what I want, though. I guess, uh, if I were trying to think, when did I know Saturday Night Live was just completely over and not relevant anymore? I think it was the day when they, uh, when they and everyone else on the internet saw the, uh, Insane Clown Posse's, uh, what do you call it, um, infomercial that they put up online for Juggalo Fest. Juggle Con, I guess it's called. Okay, how many more do I have to kill? Nine? Oh my god. And how many of them have machine guns? All of them? Well, no, obviously not, but... See, the problem here is my UAV is, like, stealing a lot of my kills. Are we done? We're done. Oh my god, I'm getting out of here. Will I live long enough to get out of here? Let's find out together, shall we? That was closer than I would have liked. Yes! Finally we got all the rewards for a mission! It's about GD time, am I right? Ready. Look at that. Isn't it a real masterpiece? I can't guarantee this thing won't rip your ear off. But the fact is, this gun is able to double your combat power. You'll soon realize very soon yourself. If you want to improve this fusion gun, you can disassemble unnecessary equipment into components and use them to create reinforcing modules. I've already uploaded all of the possible improvement drawings to the modification booth. See what you like there. <laughs> now you can pick up your new gun from the modification booth. There you'll be able to activate the shooting mode you want and get acquainted with the entire list of available modifications. So that's basically exactly what I asked for. What a nice improvement to the game. Oh my god, this thing looks amazing. Move the item of equipment needed to create components into the slot. You will lose all disassembled items. Okay. Nice. A laser beam that deals 100% effective weapons effectiveness in a small area. Okay. Shockwave damage. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. How do I use the plasma weapon? You're not making that clear. Previous skill to access this. Value of the radius. You mean size of the radius? Focused beam after hitting the target. We bound in other enemies with the same force. Damn. That sounds amazing. Apparently I gotta start saving up for more of that jive. Uh, let's sell this. Is that? That's less than what I've got now, so I'll sell that. Alright, so let's, uh, obviously we're gonna stop in a second, because I don't wanna get too deep into this game. But I wanna see if I can use this plasma weapon. I wanna see how the plasma weapon works. Assist in defending outpost south from the monster's assault. Uh, you missed me doing an accent, Horror King. Sorry you missed it. Uh, is that what Vegeta sounds like? 
Help the guys at Outpost East. I will. I cannot wait to try out this plasma weapon. I mean, I can wait. I literally have to wait because I don't want to, you know, waste bullets. But I'm very excited to try out this plasma weapon. Ah! God damn it. A ton of these guys, and I can't see any of them. Which I know is the goal, but come on, guys. Help me out a little, huh? No secrets here? No. Oh. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. I only listen to a Japanese voice in the Dragon Ball game, so I don't really know what Vegeta sounds like. I'm trying to remember what he uh, sounded like in the American version that I watched as a youth, but I don't. Oh, okay, well, I mean, I'm not doubting you, I'm just saying I don't. Nice. Oh, look! There's the plasma bar under my, uh, regular. Oh, under my health, nice. Wait, guys are appearing behind us? That doesn't seem fair. Well, it's also, it doesn't seem fair that they have, you know, assault rifles. They're alien scrabs. Yeah, the plasma weapon looks amazing. I'm a big fan. No! We gotta get to the north! So is this supposed to leave these dudes? Fend for themselves? I mean, okay. Uh, we'll do that later. I love this guy. Okay, I missed with every intense uh, shot I fired. Not my finest moment. Hey, a new nail gun. Nice. If I had had two nail guns last time, I would have been uh, sitting pretty. But I did not have two nail guns. Right, you keep defending that fence, buddy. Just fire bullets wildly into the fence. I'm sure that'll go great for you. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I'm not sure it'll go great for me. It's slaughter time! I like your attitude, buddy. You and me are going to get along great. I kind of like that we drove somewhere and had an adventure and then drove back. Yep, I'm loving this plasma weapon bonus. Yeah, I don't remember if any of this was in the original. Like, I don't know how much this is just a remake, like, with uh, better graphics, and how much they've rejiggered it. I don't remember drones. I don't remember this plasma rifle. It could have all been in there. But I have no specific memories of any of this stuff. Alright, so let's destroy a couple more crates to get that extra cash. We saved all the enemies. Uh, enemies, oh my god. We saved all of our allies, so we're good for one of the bonuses, but I would like to get both. Okay. Ooh, sweet cash. Tell me more. Still not 100% sure why bullets don't go through crates. Not going to make a big deal out of it. Sorry, crates. Oh my god, I'm thinking about crates on the brain. Still not completely sure why bullets don't go through chain link fences, but I'm not going to make a big fuss out of it. I'm just happy I don't have to collect ammo for these guns. Yay! Cash! So there's one crate. Sh free shotgun? Don't mind if I doodle. Uh, that wasn't a shotgun, it was a plasma rifle. It's a lot worse than what I'm using now, but I want to try it out. Okay, it is a lot worse than what I'm using now, but I'm still glad I found a uh, laser rifle.
I'm less happy with myself for inviting a new wave of enemies to attack, but... Eh, laser rifle's still pretty badass. So you sacrifice guns to get the parts to improve your plasma rifle. That's a nice touch. Again, it shows they were putting that extra level of... Oh, I could have just gone in through here as a shortcut, and in fact, that's what I was supposed to do. All right now I feel like a real dum-dum. Sweet cashola. Don't mind if I do. I don't know who Team Four Star is, but I believe you. Hey, Pally. <laughs> Sucker. Hey, new helmet. Nice. And that's my 10 out of 10 crates. Badass. Okay. Money found 660. Plenty of cash rewards as well. Congrats. The top monster body count is yours now. Thanks for your help. Okay, his, that voice got very sarcastic. That was not my intention. So I go here and you will repair my armor. And maybe my guns? It's not really clear. Oh, yeah. But now what I'm going to do is go here and earn myself a component by cashing in you. You. Oh, you have to do it one at a time? Well, that sucks. Well, at least I can afford it. I kind of thought every item was going to be worth a different amount. Was I naive for thinking that? Maybe. Okay. There it goes. Yeah, I thought, like, the different value of weapons would have different... Well, whatever. Fire damage. A long charge of the shot generates a divergent flow blast, causing damage depending on the effectiveness of the active weapon. A large area. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. Oh, so your plasma weapon is based 100% on how much damage your regular weapon does. Interesting. That's kind of cool. And this is the pulse to defend you. Nice. I'll have to try that later. Ah, gotcha. Alright, so, uh, this is going to be a perfect time to take a break. Uh, I, as you can see, am capital L loving Alien Shooter 2 The Legend. I mean, again, I already really liked the franchise, and this is a really great... Oh, is that the plasma rifle on my shoulder? Like I'm some sort of the Predator? Awesome. Uh, I mean, I was already predisposed to like this thing, but it's doing great. Like, I'm very impressed with how they've turned it out. It's extremely playable. The monsters are disgusting and explode in a satisfying fashion when shot. I don't see how they could have improved this a ton more. I mean, I wanted an, I wanted an upgradable weapon, and then the next mission they handed me one. So, thumbs up. Do I like the whole loot system that much? No, but I'm never going to be satisfied with the loot system. I just, I don't like them. So it's not like I'm going to turn around and say, oh, I was wrong about loot systems. I've never liked them. It's not this game's fault. So I just noticed that these uh, weapons aren't being randomized. Like every time it's the same guns. It's weird, right? Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go to the comments section below the video. I'd like to thank Sigma Team one more time for sending this game over. Uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of you guys and look forward to, uh, I hope this does well for you and I look forward to whatever's next. See you back here for more, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.